Oh my gosh, guys, can you hear that? It is raining. I have a messy craft desk with stains and marks all over it. It is cold. I have a nice cup of coffee. Mm. And it occurred to me that I want to show you all the different types of craft carving materials that are out there because a lot of people just stick with one and it's hard to find some of these materials and I just wanted to show you the different types of options and sort of show you my stash because look at this this is my my stash I've got lots of uh, different um, carving materials and scraps and I just wanted to show you all the different types that are out there and where you might be able to find them so without much further ado um, some of the common ones so this one this is a scrap because I don't really buy a lot of it anymore this is speedy carve not to be confused with speedy cut so speed it's both by the same company speedball and um, this one is a much better material to use than this one this one's just not great for stamp making even though it says specifically on it for stamp carvers um, this stuff just crumbles so don't get that but this pink stuff is actually pretty rugged. They keep changing the formula. Not a huge fan, but that's an option for you. Um, then there is this stuff. This I actually got from the local Curry's. It's called Soft Oleum. It has a grainy side. That's this one, and it has this nice smooth side. So um, this one's good for larger blocks, but it doesn't keep detail very much. And I don't love, I don't know if you can see it in here. It's got, see all those little holes? That's, um, there's, it's like bubbles. It's kind of like, arrow not not a huge fan but uh, it has certain purposes so it's it's good um, this one is actually uh, unnamed as well and it's more it's actually lino this stuff is very very hard and um, I wouldn't really recommend it for stamp carving but if you're doing some block carving and you've got a bench hook to carve it on then that one is probably a bit better um, I have two scraps here uh, there's an orange and a white one in this little Ziploc bag. Um, these don't exist anymore. You can't actually get these, and I'm hoarding them until I figure out what I want to use them for. These are the legendary uh, PZ cut that are made by Stampies. Uh, I don't think the formulation is allowed to be made anymore, so they're not made, and these were gifted to me, so I'm trying to figure out what to do with them. And I don't want to use them because I... Don't know that I'm ever going to get another slab. They're gone. I'm no longer able to be had. Um, I have some little of these. These are um, translucent. I don't know if you can see it in the light here. And they're just little squares. Um, these also from Asia. I like the thickness of them. And I like how pretty they look. They're a little difficult to carve because the clearness of them actually makes it difficult to see where you're carving. So... Um, but that's out there if you see them. I actually have a larger slab. I ordered it online. It's still in the package here. And it I thought it was the same stuff because it's relatively translucent as well. I don't know. Can you see my hand behind there? See that? Ooh, scary. Ooh. But it's a nice big slab. Um, it curls though. It's got this curl to it. I haven't tried carving it yet. It's thinner than these little blocks, so I'm not sure if it's exactly the same. I'm going to try that out though and see um, how it works. If you're interested in a demo of that, I'd be happy to. I also keep in my stash some erasers uh, because these large erasers are actually pretty good for curving and it's sort of on my to-do list to actually get a whole bunch of different erasers and test out uh, how they work, so that's probably in the future. I'm also hoarding some, uh, I think it's pronounced Daiso. Daiso? 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 Please let me know in the comments uh, how to pronounce that properly if you um, speak Japanese. But this is the old packaging and this is uh, the new packaging. It's the same thing inside and it's a three layered. This is actually the only kind of um, uh, stuff that I know that's actually three colors. So it's white in the middle. Yet this yellow on the one side and blue on the other. Um, Daiso, Daiso is a equivalent, it's a dollar store, I, I understand. It's a hundred yen, which is I think about um, 
a dollar so that's amazing stuff to use I love it and I wish we had those here in the greater Toronto area but we don't so those were gifts from people who had traveled abroad and they brought them home for me so thank you I also bought this stuff um I don't Again, I, my Japanese is, you know, terrible. This is two layered. It's kind of clear on the one side and white on the other. I I ordered this online from China and it's got Japanese writing on it. Oh, do you hear the rain? Oh my gosh. Um, I don't love carving on this translucent side, but I haven't tried carving the white side yet. I'm gonna try it out, um, but I always love trying new materials to see how they work and, um, Normally ordering anything from Asia because stamp carving is much more popular there is a good bet So uh, maybe again, I'll do those in a future video um, So I have a lot of That sandwich material that I that I've used in a couple of my recent videos I've got so much of it and it comes in all kinds of different colors and you'll see some of them are actually dark uh, Colored in the middle and and some are just white with the outside being color um, I've tested them all and I don't find any difference in the ability to carve. It seems to be sort of, um, they carve the same. And it's one of my favorite, I use that a lot, so that's why I've got so many there, a whole bunch of blue ones. Then I have these ones, which is um, my absolute favorite. These are from a company called Seed and these are all branded, uh, so there they are, Seed. I don't speak any Japanese and I certainly can't read it, so I can't give you any insight into as to what all these different kinds actually say on them. What I have been able to figure out is that the ones like this that have the drawings on the outside that are the special colors, they all have a website listed on them, like this one. They seem to be sort of popular stamp carvers in Japan, and so you get a design sheet with it and a stencil, or sorry, a tracing paper, so that you can make the same. So there's a whole bunch of different ones um, with a different color. So here's a different website, um, a different person. Sometimes they have a, a Romanized name on it. Let's see, here's one that's black, and these are all two layered, so it's white on one side and then a color uh, on the out. Um, I love these. This is my absolute favorite to carve on. Um, I love the thickness. It seems like this stuff was actually custom made for uh, carving, and um, it's just the, the gouge and the knife, it just it carves so nicely, and I've got some double colors in here. Um, they're hard to find and it's the most <laughs> expensive um, carving material that I get so I, I tend to hoard it a bit because uh, everything I order basically has to come from overseas and um, it makes it uh, a little expensive because of the shipping and because it weighs so much. Um, this is probably one of the thickest materials, it's about 11 uh, millimeters. No idea uh, how large that is in inches, probably a little more than half an inch, that would be my guess. So that's about it. I tried other ones too and there's other carving materials out there that I haven't had a chance to try. I always keep my scraps. These are my, this is my box of bigger scraps at the moment. Um, but I have a little box of all my, my itty bitty ones over here. And I keep those because they make little baby stamps from time to time and um, I mount them on buttons or little pieces of glass and they make cute little gifts. So. I just wanted to show you that there's a lot of different kind of carving rubbers out there and they're very different. They carve very differently and um, some of the ones I don't have here are Moo Carve, that's Korean. Um, there used to be one called Master Carve, they don't seem to make that anymore. Um, and there's ones, they seem to be geographically oriented and uh, different countries tend to make different types of carving materials. So let me know in the comments if you have carving materials that I haven't shown you here. I've tried a lot of them. I don't keep all of them in stock because like I said, it can be very expensive to get them here. But I'd love to hear if there's stuff that you've used that I don't have here and I'd love to give it a try. So I hope you're enjoying the rain as much as I am and have some coffee and let me know in the comments um, what kind of videos you'd like to see in the future. Thanks guys. Bye.